Get in here, get in here, get in here, best friend, because I'm going to teach you seven easy ways that you can make almost any man be more attracted to you using your natural feminine energy. These things work, baby. In fact, they work so good, I may just call it witchcraft, baby. It's excellent. It works every time, baby. Even if you don't think you have natural feminine energy, baby, you use my tips, baby, okay? I'm telling you, you can't lose when you use the stuff that I use, all right? With these seven tips, Anybody can apply them. If you feel that you don't have natural feminine energy, don't worry. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We just have to be more intentional about saying, which energy source do I want to use in this moment or in this situation so that I can attract in more of what I desire? That's all this is about. So I'm gonna teach you seven tips on how to be intentional about activating your feminine energy so that you can attract in more masculine energy to you. Ooh, it works, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> Tip number one, play into his masculinity, baby. When I talk about playing into his masculinity, what I'm saying is this, do things that communicates to him that you trust him to take care of you, that you trust him to provide for you, that you trust him to have your back, darling. This will literally set his soul on fire. It will make him desire you so much because you're playing in to that primal part of him that wants to feel powerful in the presence of someone that he's attracted to, okay? So here's how I do it. This is one way it works every single time, all right? So let's say you're hugging your guy, right? Now, I'm not very tall, so often when I'm hugging, guys my arms have to kind of go up a little bit so I'm hugging him my arms up here I'm looking up at him okay now that's one of the things when I'm hugging someone I'm looking up at them I point my eyes up like this I'm not gonna go like that I'm gonna point my eyes up at him so I'm hugging him looking up at him like that so I'm hugging him looking up at him and I say baby you make me feel so safe or another way to put it baby I just feel so safe when I'm with you when you say that here's the thing you're gonna feel his heart start to pound, baby. He's gonna squeeze you that much closer. He may even kiss you, baby. It's gonna turn him on. Masculine energy, above all, wants to know that the people that are closest to him, that the people who he's around the most, that the people that he's attracted to, he wants to know that he makes them feel safe. It does something to him. It lets him know that, wow, I'm communicating through my presence and energy that makes this person feel safe. I'm communicating through my presence and energy that makes this person feel like I have their back, okay? And when you can do that, let me tell you this. He will go out of his way to make you feel safe. He will go out of his way to be in your presence. Why? Because the fact is that it's a win-win scenario. He wants to make you feel safe. When he makes you feel safe, he feels more powerful and more masculine. That is a drug for him, for him to feel more masculine. So you're helping him to feel more masculine. And in return, he's going to perform in a way that's going to allow you to feel more feminine and allow you to feel more relaxed and allow you to fall into all that he has to give and before you know it you all have this beautiful bond that's built on each of you pouring into one another's innate desires you're pouring into his desire to feel more masculine and he's pouring into your desire to feel more feminine and it makes you both more attracted to one another <laughs> tip number two be seductive. Listen to me when I tell you this, okay? I'm not saying that you need to run around here looking like a common floozy, I ain't saying that. But what I am saying, darling, is use your feminine energy to make him desire you. Now, there are different ways to be more seductive. One of the easiest ways to be seductive is to simply wear clothes and wear scents that make you feel sexy. I'll tell you this, what you wear and how you smell literally affects how you feel and how you express yourself in the world. Think about it in reverse. You go out the house wearing an outfit that you know is not flattering to your body or you wear an outfit that you just don't like but you're in a rush and you just had to throw it on. Throughout that whole day, you're gonna be self-conscious. You're picking at your clothes, trying to make sure that everything's right. When people talk to you, you may even be crossing your arms so that people don't see that part of your midsection that this outfit seems to emphasize. When you wear clothes that don't make you feel sexy, then you operate in a way where you literally kind of shut off your energy. And even if you are absolutely gorgeous, you're not communicating that out to other people because your energy is gonna communicate out to them, I don't feel attractive, don't look at me. Now on the reverse, 
When you wear things that make you feel sexy, wearing the best outfit in your closet, literally you walk with an air of confidence that seems to just suck people in. Men, women, everybody is looking at you saying, girl, what you wearing? Something special about you today. You're like, oh, this whole thing, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. This is something I had in my closet. You see where I'm going with that? So to me, one of the best ways to be seductive so that you can attract in more masculine energy to you is to wear clothes and scents that make you feel good. Look at your body, okay? I'm going to give you a secret. Even the folks who you see on the internet who seem to have perfect bodies, who have bodies that you admire, even with me, you all tell me how much you love my body and I appreciate it. That doesn't mean that every single part of my body is perfect it simply means that I wear things that accentuate my strengths okay so for me what I would do if I'm going out and about is I'm gonna say listen I got this cake itch back here I got a booty baby I do got a booty okay check the gram if you ain't seen it yet okay you know I got these arms I got my girls right here so with that said I'm gonna wear something that's gonna emphasize those maybe I'll wear a nice fitted top you know when I go out you know maybe my shorts or my pants are gonna be nice and fitted you know it'll be something like that you know now I don't have the biggest calf muscles I'm not gonna say I got chicken legs and like that but I ain't got the biggest calf muscles so I'm not gonna wear something that's gonna draw attention to my calves I wear things that draw attention to the parts of my body that I'm proudest of and I work close to de-emphasize the parts of my body that may still be a work in progress. The reason why I do this is because I know that I can't attract in anybody if I don't feel sexy first. Another thing that I love to do is I want to wear things that smell absolutely amazing. Why is that? Because I feel good and I feel more attractive when I smell good and then when somebody comes over to me, that good masculine man, and he says, hey, nice to meet you and he leans into me he goes you smell amazing I said oh thank you baby because here's the thing that I know to be true already pheromones are real pheromones essentially are what comes off in our smell when we wear certain scents that attracts in people to us where they say mmm wow, you smell good. And when they sniff you in, their heart starts to pump and they get excited and they just want to be closer to you. You can see it in their eyes. And to me, if I want to attract in more masculine energy to me, then the easiest way to do it is to wear things that allow me to feel beautiful and seductive so that I can attract in his attention. Because once I have his attention, baby, game over, darling. He ain't going nowhere, baby. All I got to do is get his attention first. Now, this brings me to my next tip. Make your self-care a priority, baby, okay? It doesn't matter if you're wearing beautiful clothes and all this other stuff, but you don't have manicures, and you don't have your toes done, and you're not taking care of your skin and your hair. Your self-care is about you. The thing about being attractive is this, is yes, there are certain physical qualities that certainly will make people be more attracted to you in terms of making sure that you take care of your body, and making sure you wear certain clothes that are gonna emphasize your natural physical strengths, but at the same time, a large part of self-care is just making sure that you feel attractive so that you can give off good energy. Here's the thing, when I look my best, I feel my best. When I feel my best, I perform my best and I attract the best, remember that, okay? So for me, I wanna make sure that head to toe, no matter where you may look at me, shit, even if you look at my earlobes, you can be like, ooh, you look good. You know, I wanna make sure that when you touch my skin, you say, oh my God, your skin is so soft. Of course it's soft, baby, because I take care of myself. I use a little scrub and a loof on this skin a couple times a week not too often but just enough to make sure this skin is good I make sure that I ain't got no ashy feet because some of y'all walking around in these pretty shoes y'all spend hundreds of dollars on and your feet ashy how that work baby I make sure that I make my self-care a priority I make sure that my hair is right okay take care of yourself it's an investment in yourself not just to attract the attention of a man it's an investment in yourself so that you can feel your best so that when you feel your best you can operate your best and you can attract the best into to your life because that's what you deserve. The next tip on how to attract more masculine men to you using your natural feminine energy is to soften your voice when you talk, baby. Here's the thing that you have to recognize. We all have a range of ways that we can speak. Nobody talks the same way all the time unless they're putting on an act, okay? So we can have a heavier voice when we need to be commanding and demanding. And we can also have a softer, more sensual, more inviting tone when we're trying to attract in masculine energy. So when you're talking to someone, especially someone that you want to attract into you, soften your voice. One of the things that I 
I do is I make sure that my tone is never louder than their tone. So as he's talking, even if he's talking really loud, blah, 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 when I start talking, I talk just a little bit lower than him. And I say, you know, I totally agree with you. And here's my thought about this whole thing. I'm gonna talk in a way that forces him to almost have to lean in just a little bit as I'm talking. I'm not gonna whisper, but make him have to lean in just a little bit. Because here's the thing, when I'm talking soft, it forces you to lean in a little bit more. And when you're leaning in a little bit more, I can look you in your eyes as I'm talking. And it makes you feel like we're in our own world that no one else can hear what we're talking about except for you and I, baby. It will turn him on and make him that much more attracted to you. So just soften your voice just a little bit, just a little bit when you talk to him. Remember this, your job is to never match his masculinity and his power. Your job is to remind him of his masculinity and his power. So by softening your voice to lower than his tone, it reminds him that he's powerful, that he's a king, and that you see him that way and you don't feel the need to try to dominate him or overpower him with your voice. You just are falling into your femininity and allowing him to feel like the powerful masculine king that you know that he is. Now y'all know these tips are fire so before I go on to the next one like, comment, share, and subscribe baby and let me know what you think by commenting below. The next tip on how to attract more men using your feminine energy is to learn how to joyfully receive. Now I'm emphasizing the word learn Learn. Because for a lot of folks, you may struggle with the idea of receiving. You know, you're so used to being a giver. You're so used to taking care of people that the idea of receiving, while it seems nice, is something that you may not be accustomed to doing. But here's the thing. If you want to increase your attractiveness level to more masculine people, then you have to learn how to receive and do it joyfully. So let me give you an example. Let's say that someone gives you some flowers or something like that. Okay. Okay, you could of course just say, thank you so much, these are so pretty, and walk away. Or you can allow your excitement and all those good feelings that you have inside of you, because we all love receiving flowers, allow all of that to come out. Don't inhibit yourself when you are expressing gratitude and joy around receiving something from him. So when I get those flowers, I'm gonna say, baby, oh my God, thank you so much. Oh. Why do you treat me so good? Oh my God, this has made my day. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna make him feel so good and then I'm gonna hug him real tight. When I hug him real tight, I'm gonna rub my body up against him. Not sexual, unless that's what you wanna do. I'm gonna rub my body up against him just to let him physically feel my response of gratitude. And in fact, throughout the day, as I remember those flowers, I'm gonna say to him, baby, those flowers are still in my mind. Thank you so much. That's what you do, you are joyfully receiving Receiving. If he pays the bill at dinner, then you want to joyfully receive that. When he grabs that bill and swipes it and pays, then you say, you say, baby, thank you so much. You take such good care of me. I really appreciate you. What you're doing is you are pouring gratitude onto him. You are letting him know that his giving spirit, that him being a provider, that all that he's bringing to the table in this moment, large or small, is being appreciated and well received because here's the thing about masculine energy. Masculine energy becomes addicted to the validation of your gratitude. When you say thank you, when you get excited about something he's doing for you or giving to you, He's going to want to do more of that. He's going to start to go out of his way to look for ways to give to you more. Why? Because he likes seeing you be happy. He likes seeing you be joyous, but also selfishly, he likes that feeling of being appreciated. So he's gonna go out of his way to do things for you that you're gonna love so that you can give him a response of joyous appreciation, darling. You activate masculine energy when you show masculine energy that you see him, that you appreciate him, and that you are grateful for what he brings into your life. Now the final tip on how to attract more men using your feminine energy is to communicate your boundaries and keep your standards. It's really important to remember that masculine energy is attracted to just a little bit of a chase, okay? They don't want to feel like they can get you so easily because if they feel like they can get you and get your body so easily, then they're going to feel like, well, who else is getting this? Who else is, is, is she bending her standards for? Who else is she giving this all access pass to? So what you want to do is you want to 
communicate through your boundaries that I'm special and that I should be cherished and that you need to value my time and my energy. So how do I do that? Now one of the things that I do is that when I communicate a boundary to a guy, I do it in a way that is going to make him feel good while on the same page letting him know that this is a boundary that's important to me because it's really important to do both. You have to mix the bitter with the sweet, okay? The bitter is the boundary because it doesn't always feel good for them to hear your boundary with the sweet. So here's how we do it. This is a real easy one, okay? Let's say, for example, that, you know, you're getting to know this guy and it feels like, you know, like the night is going really, really well. You've been activating your feminine energy with him and you've been activating his masculine energy. He's been looking at your body all night. You can clearly tell that he is turned on and he's engaged with you, okay? And at the end of the night, he says, you know, um, if you don't have anything to do in the morning, I would love to invite you by just so, you know, we can continue the conversation at my house. Now, you know deep down in your spirit, you want to be in his house too. You know deep down in his spirit, you want to feel how it feels him to touch you, but you also know that you're not ready for that just yet. You don't want to be a notch in his belt, a link in his chain where you go up there, you give him the good old Netflix and chill experience and you don't hear from him again. So what you can do is you can tell him your boundary, which is basically no for right now, while doing it in a way that makes him feel really, really good and really masculine. So here's how I do it. But I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get pretty close to him and I may even kiss him. I'm gonna say, mm. And I may even kiss him, I'll go, mm. I'll say, baby, I've enjoyed tonight so much. I mean, you are amazing. You look good, you smell good. You are brilliant. I mean, just listening to you talk is amazing. When I come in contact with someone like you, <laughs> it's irresistible. It is irresistible. But I know for myself that because it's irresistible, if I go upstairs with you right now, we're not gonna be doing much talking because I'm not gonna be able to keep myself off of you. So let's do this. I'm gonna head home and I will definitely let you know when I get there and we can plan our next date because I'm definitely looking forward to getting to know you more so that um, when that time comes for me to come upstairs, it'll be the time that feels right for us both. He's gonna be like, all right, all right. Cause what I did in that was I told him no, very gently, but I also did it in a way that boosted his ego. I let him know that I'm attracted to him. I let him know that my reason for not wanting to go upstairs is not because I'm not sexually attracted to him or not because I don't want him, but because I cherish him that much more and I don't wanna mess nothing up. That's how you communicate your boundaries to a man and do it like a G, baby, okay? You do it in a way that is boosting his ego, that's making him feel good, that's making him not feel rejected, all right? So I always say, figure out a way to communicate your boundaries and your standards, but do it where you are mixing the bitter with the sweet because here's the thing about masculine men they are more attracted to you when you operate with the standard and you operate with boundaries and you don't let them run all over you and get everything out of you whenever they want it the more you say no the more they desire you. It's just kind of the way it works. So if you enjoyed this video, then what I want you to do is like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And also comment below this video and let me know any other tips that you've used that have worked within your life to help you attract in more men using your feminine energy. And if you have any other video topics that you would like for me to cover, comment below. I'm reading the comments all the time and I get a lot of my ideas for videos from you guys. So comment below and let me know any other video topics that you want me to cover. So thanks for watching best friend and I can't wait to talk to you soon.